Uh, welcome to Reykjavik Grapevine's newscast. My name is Valur Grettisson and I'm an editor-in-chief at Reykjavik Grapevine. We're here in Öskjuhlí, this is in the, the middle of uh, Reykjavik, uh, close to the Reykjavik airport actually. Uh, we love this forest, we're here because it's, it's quite windy outside. Uh, we were trying to find a place that was not too windy right now. Uh, there is like a yellow warning in the south and it's, the weather is, is basically not that good. So, uh, I wanted to, to tell you a little bit before we start uh, about our newsletters, uh, which is free, by the way. Uh, and not only do you keep up to date with all that we are up to, but you can, you, yeah, you can win actually a candy box. It's brilliant. Uh, I, I was going through it before. Uh, and among those that you can buy, have is this, like, I love this, really tacky Icelandic uh, mix of, like, whatever. <laughs> I buy this often, it's like, uh, it's not good for you, but it's, it's really, really useful uh, if you're watching some good TV or something like that. Uh, but the thing is, of course, yeah, and also there are, of course, like a piece of lava from the volcano and, and a, like an issue of the, the last issue, print issue that we did. Um, and the, here's the thing, you need to sign up to the newsletter uh, before three o'clock on Friday because I'm going to ask you a question. And I love this. Um, he, Helgi, he is working with us. And he always sent out every, uh, I think every two weeks or something like that, uh, like a question, like a quiz. Uh, he, and he asks something specific about Iceland, Iceland and Icelandic language or whatever. So I want to, I want to ask you this question, but keep in mind, you can't answer this in the comments here down, be, down below. Uh, if you want to answer this, uh, you, can, you have to go into the newsletter before Friday at three o'clock and answer it there if you, if you know the answer. So it's quiz time. Uh, 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 so here is a mind banter for you clever folks. Uh, which one of these is not the correct translation of the Icelandic word lög? Uh, A. Uh, flames. Or B. Uh, laws. Or C. Layers. Or D. Songs. Uh, I hope, yeah, after we show you how this is written, all of this, uh, keep in mind also that Icelandic is uh, often a little bit complicated. Uh, one word doesn't have to mean the same thing. It all, it all, all in the context. So uh, more than one is, is a tip here. Uh, perhaps I'm giving it away, but uh, there are sometimes they have more than one meaning. Uh, so uh, sign up to the newsletter down there. Uh, answer this question. You could also answer it in, in the YouTube comment if you want to. Uh, tell us what you think it is. Uh, but the answer will, of course, be revealed uh, in the newsletter. So, but on with the news. It's, it's grim today, but, but we'll, we'll, we'll go through it. Okay, sir. So the news today, uh, this week, has been a little bit grim. Um, there has been a, like a rohypnol pandemic even uh, in the news. Uh, well, in, in, uh, in the like nightlife in Iceland, there has been suspect, uh, suspected uh, like uh, some assholes, I guess. They're actually spiking women's drink and getting them drugged and trying to rape them. Uh, the thing is though, this is perhaps a little bit odd. Uh, like these, these cases with, where like people have been uh, given rohypnol ro have never been uh, like, uh, we have never found any evidence of this rohypnol thing ever uh, when it comes to uh, Icelandic nightlife. Of course, uh, I think it's safe to say it's definitely there, uh, but the thing is that, uh, 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 but the thing is like, this get like goes out of your body in like within hours, like within like the day after, and the reason that we haven't found this, and this has been crit criticised heavily in Icelandic media, uh, is because uh, the hospitals they don't check for this. Uh, they only check for like uh, drugs and, and you kind of have to know what this is. And often uh, when people or, or women are like drugged with uh, this rohypnol, uh, people think that they are like out of it drunk, basically, uh, which is not always the case. On Twitter, for example, 
there have been a lot of people coming out and saying, describing this very dark uh, uh, like experiences where this man was working them and they were like Portland just saved from like being picked up into a taxi with a group of men and uh, driven somewhere, wherever. And this is, this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, not good. Uh, and, uh, and on top of this, uh, there is in the news now that unusually many gang rapes uh, have been reported in Iceland this year, uh, or 19 gang rapes in total. Last year, there were 13 victims that sought help at the hospital because of gang rape. And in 2019, there were only there were six, not only six, there were six. Uh, all in all, uh, 131 victims have sought help at the hospital because of rape, the, only this year. Uh, but only 43 of these victims have pressed any charges. Uh, this is, of course, uh, this is, of course, quite shocking. This was in Fréttablaði today. It's the biggest newspaper in Iceland. Uh, and I have to say that, uh, like, also with these gang rapes, they are often not, uh, they are, uh, well, sometimes they are not, uh, th these victims do not press charges because, of course, there is nothing simple about this. Uh, and, uh, like, historically, of course, uh, these cases ended up like only a fraction of them ended, end, ends up in the courthouse uh, and even a fraction of them ends with a conviction. So women in Iceland have been very criticizing, like criticized this very loudly, uh, especially the system. But the system is try, trying to do better. But I mean, I have to say this is uh, like really, really bad news and quite shocking, to be honest. Uh, and then to COVID. Uh, at least seven police officers have COVID in the city area and around 200 uh, workers uh, within the police uh, in, in the city are in quarantine. Uh, no one is seriously ill, thankfully, but uh, this is quite a blow to the police. Seven officers are just out uh, and they don't know if perhaps there will be more, but uh, hopefully not. Uh, this is, of course, I mean, the police, uh, there's a lot of stress within the police. It's very famous that of course, uh, I, I guess it's everywhere, uh, but it's very well known in Iceland that uh, it's not, uh, there, there could be more officers uh, and, and so on, and they, they don't have the highest salaries either. So, and on top of that, it's a dangerous, tough job. So this has been very hard. Uh, there has been also been uh, COVID uh, infections in our hospital uh, in, in Reykjavik. Uh, there are five patients at the heart and lung ward have contracted the virus, which is a very serious thing because uh, COVID really messes with the lungs uh, and the rest. And the, many of them, I mean, you know this, of course, completely. Uh, and it's going to be, uh, I hope this will not end badly. Uh, like there is only one person at the, at the, at the critical, critical, like in the critical care right now. Uh, and seven are at the hospital. Uh, and we hope it will stay that, like that, but our uh, experience uh, has often shown that like, uh, it isn't until in the end of the wave that we are seeing people perhaps die. So uh, we, are not, uh, we are not optimistic yet, at least. Uh, but also uh, COVID infection, like actually in many other countries, and I've seen like the Brits are having, a, having some trouble with this, uh, but COVID, COVID infections are going very steadily up in Iceland right now. We are now in 232.1 uh, per 100,000 residents, which is quite high. But at the same time, uh, not that many are at the hospital uh, and it doesn't feel like uh, there is a state of emergency going on because of course, uh, like uh, almost 90 percent percent of the well, well over 90 percent of the nation either was uh, has been vaccinated or has the anti what is it called uh, RPC no, uh, the, the the antidote have already gotten the virus before. So uh, COVID is still still looming around. Uh, we're hoping that it will only go down as quickly as possible uh, because uh, there have been. Like we are losing restrictions slowly now and it would be really bad if the restrictions were still on for the Christmas because Icelanders like we tend to have uh, like a big Christmas. We have like big families always. 
uh, Icelanders are still in many ways like that. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, yeah, we're, we're hoping the best here. And finally, uh, Siggi the Hacker, you know that guy, right? Bjartmar, a friend of mine, he has often written about him. Uh, and this guy is, of course, the star witness of FBI when it comes to WikiLeaks and Julian Assange, uh, which is, uh, by the way, there will be a court hearing, I think, th this week in the UK uh, if uh, Julian Assange should be extradited to the US or not. Uh, and this guy, Siggi the Hacker, is one of these key witnesses. Uh, he was working as like a, as a volunteer uh, for the WikiLeaks in 2010 and 11, uh, but uh, that didn't go really well. Uh, he actually uh, he he ended up by uh, being convicted for embezzlement uh, fraud against WikiLeaks in 2013. But right now he is actually in the police custody in Iceland uh, because he is. They suspect that he has. Uh, defrauded uh, companies of dozens of million Icelandic krona, at least. That would be like hundreds of thousands of US dollars. Uh, and it, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, so he, the, he has been, he's been, been in custody for at least, uh, uh, well, around four weeks. Uh, and the, 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 like our national broadcast in, in Iceland, they are saying that, uh, like they interviewed this police officer, and he said that uh, the, the investigation is going well and uh, they think this is like a massive uh, fraud case. So it'll be interesting also to see uh, how that goes as well as like uh, the, the case against Julian Assange and especially if FBI is going to use uh, Siki's testimony in some ways because Siki is not only has he been convicted for uh, embezzlement and, and this like uh, caught now for, uh, for, for this. He was also convicted for uh, sexually abusing uh, youngsters, like uh, 15, 16, 17 year old uh, boys. Uh, for like, uh, he, he, he like conned them almost, like paid them money and so on and promised them, uh, gave, him prom gave them promises that he didn't keep of course. And, and he was basically convicted for sexually abusing them. These were like eight boys, <coughs> in the, like very young boys, but he, he himself was quite young when that happened. So, uh, grim news today, I guess, but uh, uh, this, the scenery is nice. That's, a, <laughs> that's something, right? Uh, this is basically it for, uh, for our newscast today. Uh, we'll be here uh, on Thursday, at least. Uh, and we will tell you more about uh, perhaps the volcano. There are some new news from that, but not much uh, at, the, at the moment. And of course, remember our newsletter. Remember the question, uh, what does lög mean? Is it flames, laws, layers or songs? Or is it everything or nothing? Uh, well, it's, it's something. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, also, of course, remember our membership and uh, and uh, oh, yeah, okay, you good that? All right. I'm gonna have some candy, by the way. Yeah. Hey. What's the puzzle? Whoa. Yeah, I am. Ah. 